Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Thursday, May 5th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday at 1030 a.m. for worship. My scripture today is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. This is the word of the Lord. Well, what is today, Thursday, May 5th? It's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Well, what is that? Is it Mexican independence? No, it's just a particular battle that the Mexicans won, even though they later lost that war. But we're not here to talk about Cinco de Mayo because today is, more importantly, National Day of Prayer. And so I beseech you, if you've been listening to these daily messages, you know why. I believe that prayer is even more important than most Christians would give it credit for. Yes, we all pray in the foxholes. We all pray when there's a need. We all pray when someone we love is struggling. We all pray when we're grieving. We even pray when we're looking for a parking space. But a full prayer life, that means coming to God in meditation, with an open heart, communicating one with another, is one of the great keys to happiness and a sense of well-being. And of course, it is faith building. And I've had several daily messages from secular sources where research has shown conclusively that prayer is one of the most important aspects for a good life. This is National Day of Prayer. Approach it prayerfully and use this day to dedicate yourselves to an even closer walk with Jesus Christ. And appropriately on this day, let us pray. Lord, we thank you for days such as this that remind us of the importance of prayer. And we pray that we would come to you not just because it benefits us, not just because it's a key to well-being, not because it is faith building alone, but rather, Lord, because we yearn for your sweet word and your blessed countenance and the touch of your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.